Listen, there are going to be people that's going to come to your house. And um, this might sound weird for me saying this, but they're going to invite you to church. But they're not going to be taking you to church, okay? The things that's happening in this world, you might feel that that is the best decision. Like, you know what? Nobody never invited me or nobody actually came to my doorstep. All the stuff that's happening in my life, I'm going through this. Let me just get dressed and go to church. But that van that's full of them Christians, they not going to church. They not. Something is happening, and I don't know. This is like a warning for people. Do not get on that van. Do not get on that van. I, I suggest y'all to start getting into the Lord's presence. Because I don't know if y'all been noticing what's been going on in this world. But, yeah, it's getting real. The Lord told me months ago, but I didn't release it. He been telling me, like, he told me, like, lakes are going to dry up. He told me the food is going to be infested. Like, like the meat is going to have worms. It's going to get people pinworms. Okay? A lot of people are going to have worms eating them inside and out. It's disgusting. Okay? I thought I was just under a demonic attack. But no. The Lord like, basically was showing me, like, this is going to start happening to people. Also, like, it's like something's going to happen to the food. Um, they're already shutting down like plant places, so it's gonna be hard to get vegetables. This is why I told you, I, I told a lot of people if you follow me on Facebook, then you know that it's important to have your own land, to have your own water, to have to grow your own food. This is so important, and people that are connected to God, people that are very in tune, like yeah, they're they've been doing their own garden. Like, they do their own garden, they grow their own vegetables, they eat off their own land, they have their own animals. They are, everybody started doing this last year, and I saw the God in uh, June 2020, okay? And um, April, in April, I came to San Antonio 2021, um, April, May, June, around July, June or July, that's when I start releasing this word regarding to the food is going to be corrupt on Facebook and that it's important to have your own land and that God did not want us to eat meat because something is about to happen. They're doing something to the meat. The meat is not even real meat. Like something is wrong with that meat. If you notice, if you Google everything that's inside the meat, it's not even full 100% meat. People are about to start acting really strange like angry fighting each other the lord was showing me a lot of chaos like everybody's fighting kids are turning on their parents um animals animals that you wouldn't think like like that animal wouldn't hurt a fly that animal would take thousands of flies out i'm telling you like this is not funny y'all this is so serious pay attention to what is happening like, he has been showing me this for the past couple of months, but I was releasing the wrong type of word. I kept releasing, like, kingdom spouse, music that I was channeling, but not, like, I didn't go into detail like this because I was feeling like I was going, like, the same thing that happened to me on Facebook was going to happen on my YouTube. I allowed my fear to get in the way of not delivering what the Lord wanted me to tell people. This is about to start happening. I was also letting y'all know on Facebook that it wouldn't matter if you have money because the banks are going to close. If the bank is closed, you have you can't even get access to the money you kept in the bank. They're closed. Banks are closing. Stock markets are down. One of the major plant, um, plant places are closing. You don't grow your own vegetables. So how do I control you? I'm going to control you through your eating, what you put in your body. What you put in your temple, that's how they're going to try to control it. And I, and I said this, I said this, they're going to control you by your eating. If I starve you, if I if I make you go without for so long, you're going to eventually bend to my will. Even if that's taking a mark, you're going to do it. You're going to give in to your flesh because you're so used to one thing, one way. You see what I'm saying? And not only that, like, this is crazy, y'all. But think about it, Cardi B and Offset. They're really pushing this McDonald thing. Do you know how unhealthy McDonald food is? Like you can leave a McDonald burger out for days and it will still look the same. It won't even mold. 
a burger that won't mold, there's something wrong there. Food is supposed to mold. Even even if it has, even if you eat mold, mold can turn into penicillin. That can turn into something that can heal your body. That burger can't even turn into something that's going to heal your body. Do you understand what I'm saying? That McDonald's burger, that's not good for you. I don't know. This video might not even get around. But the people that need to hear it, that's going to hear this video, you need to understand. If you don't have your own land, if you're not growing your vegetables, this is going to be a very dark time. And the enemy has been trying to stop my finances because God knows that has been my plan from day one. But I'm trying to put y'all on game. Like, if you have the opportunity to do it, get your stuff together. Not only get your stuff together, but get right with God. God said, oh, into his kingdom of heaven, you got to have a pure heart. How much hurt are you harboring? How much pain are you harboring? How much stuff you're not letting go? I, I haven't even realized how much the enemy has been trying to put my heart under the dirt. Like, literally trying to bury my heart. You know, so many people come into my life and just hurt me. And think it was just okay. And, it, you know, it was hard. I'm like, God, it was hard for me because I wanted to... That, like speak up for myself i'm like i'm tired of getting bullied i'm tired of being nice to people and they just come in my life and they treat me any kind of way and i don't deserve that god i don't deserve that i was good to these people but god is saying don't worry about that like you need to learn to forgive that's not only for me but for y'all forgive forgive the people that hurt you even the people that did the most craziest things to you forgive them